Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Modern Times Brewery. These guys are out of California. This is their Black House Oatmeal Stout. And this is not a big, huge, whopping uh, stout. It comes in at 5.8%. Uh, this was sent to me by Rico, and he writes 5.8% oatmeal coffee stout with 40 IBUs. And he said he bought it last week, and it was 3 bucks. And he says canned in May of 2017. Uh, actually on the can it says May the 25th of 2017 so you got the can down date you got the IBUs and you got the ABV written on the can I guess the ABV is on the can here I don't see the I don't see the ABV on here I do not see the ABV on here. They give us SRM and the final gravity. 75% Ethiopian, 25% Sumatran coffee, uh, two row kiln coffee, flake barley, pale chocolate malts, Munich malts, crystal 60, roasted barley, midnight wheat oats are the malt. So I don't see the ABV written on here. Kind of would like to see that on there. <laughs> here it is. I found this above the uh, government warning here. 5.8% alcohol by volume. So they've got all three on there. Uh, I thought they put that stuff on there. So we got the date, ABV, and the IBUs. Uh, everything you need to know about this. And the IBUs aren't that critical. Uh, I was surprised that they would put the IBUs on there and not put the ABV on there. That would be more important than the IBUs, especially for a stout. But anyway... Uh, I've read to you what Rico has sent me. Uh, commercial description says, It's so great that you like coffee. I just love that about you. Speaking of which, you're holding an oatmeal coffee stout, positively redolent with coffee aroma and flavor. It's not a crid or acrid. It's not astringent. It doesn't taste like that brown puddle at the bottom of the office. Uh, Carafe at 4 p.m. It kind of tastes like chocolate covered espresso beans, only drier and more like beer. It's a full blown coffee beer experience in a sessionable ish package. And like I said, it's only 5.8%, so uh, fairly easy drinking for an oatmeal stout. It's not an imperial stout, so, uh, but it's a 16 ounce here. Enough to share, uh, and uh, I'm gonna probably let the other half have two, three sips, whatever she wants. Quite not enough to pour me a glass in her glass, only being a 16, not a bomber or a 750, but uh, she will get a, a taste two or three out of it. Uh, that's all we need to talk about. Well, let's get it on. Final beer of the evening for me. Usually I have a little bit stronger beer than a 5.8 for the final beer, but it is what it is. That's what we got. So let's get it into the can, or in the can, into the glass from the can. Cheese of the earthy caramel Fontina goes well with your chocolate dishes. The meat is shellfish smoked meat. Glass for a pint back or not mug, Sian Sidel. I'm using my favorite tulip glass again today. This pouring a very nice creamy looking head. Uh, and the oatmeal adds to the creaminess and the mouthfeel and stuff. And it says here, not recommended for sending souring. It's a stout, but it's got coffee in it. That's what's going to fade over time, guys. It's the coffee. So you want to drink this kind of fresh to get that full blast coffee aroma and taste. So about a finger of head on that pour. Maybe just a slight hint. 
Yep, I can see it a little bit of light down through here. It looks more like a porter than a stout in a glass with the light I'm getting through the bottom part here. It's not pitch black. A little bit of mahogany, red mahogany uh, hue to the, the light that's coming through down here. To the nose we go. Oh yeah, big time coffee guys. Sumatra coffee usually, depending on how, how much they use, what percentage, uh, usually has huge coffee espresso type notes. And I'm getting that right off the nose here. Big time coffee. Hints of some bittersweet chocolate. And there may be some dark fruits in there once it warms up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of brown sugar or molasses, but the coffee is outstanding on the nose. Let's give it a whirl. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Big time coffee nuts, guys. The coffee is in the front seat, taking up the whole front seat here. Yeah, you'd want, probably want to drink this as fresh as possible to get the maximum coffee notes that, you, that they're wanting you to have. Another reason why they put a can on date on. They want you to have it fresh. I wouldn't sell their spear along in about three or four months. And, and even at four months, um, it's not going to taste the same as it did when it was a month old. Very pleasant. Very tasty. I'm a coffee drinker and a lover. I don't drink it all day long. I have my cup or two or three in the morning and uh, I'm done for the day as far as coffee. But when I've read, I mean, when they do these coffee beers like this, it does have a caffeine uh, percentage to it, uh, like a cup of coffee will. And I don't think it's decaf. A great introductory coffee stout at, at 5.8%. At, uh, 5 Something you can drink and not get too inebriated. It's not like you're drinking a 10, 12, 15% stout. Uh, it's going to knock you down. This is a fairly sessionable, if you will, even at 5.8%. Let me get the last little bit in there. I don't think it's going to change the color or any. No, it doesn't. And I'm going to sip on this for a little while and let her taste it and see what she thinks of it. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very nice coffee notes on this beer. Another reason why you'd want to drink it as fresh as possible to get all those big coffee notes because those will fade like hops over time. A very nice entry level coffee stout at 5.8%. Uh, something you can drink and a lot of the stouts, especially the Imperial stouts, are big beers. Uh, something uh, you, you don't want to drink one and be done. This one, you could have something else after this uh, at only 5.8%. A very nice mouthfeel with the oats they used on it. nice and creamy. Uh, it is a little thin though, uh, but it, you, you're going to get that when you get these low ABV sauts. Uh, they are seem to be a little thin and watery. Uh, a lot of difference from drinking a 10, 11, 12 percent stout, which they've used a lot of malts and a lot of hops to balance those heavy malts out. Uh, I find it very enjoyable. Uh, a very nice transitional or entry level coffee stout. Final joke. If you don't like coffee, you're probably not going to like this beer. If you do, and you like the darker beers, a lot of people are afraid of the dark beers. Oh, I don't drink it. It's like motor oil. That's, they have that fixation. If it doesn't look like a Budweiser or Miller or Coors, that light golden color, that's not a beer. You're drinking motor oil. Don't be afraid of the dark. A lot of these dark beers have a lot of flavor. A whole lot of flavor. A lot more flavor than you're going to get from one of those horse piss Budweiser's or Miller or Coors. All I get from those beers is grassy grainy. Very nice beer, guys. Uh, I find it uh, very enjoyable. A very nice transitional entry-level coffee stout. 
and that's exactly what it says it is with the numbers that's on the can telling you what they've done very nice uh, to me it's an A beer A minus I'm gonna give this a 90 uh, I think it's a great transitional beer to get you into this style especially if you're a coffee lover over to beer advocate beer advocate says 90 hey we're in agreement here outstanding is what they have for their 90 rating uh, Final check-in, we're going to run over to Untapped, and Untapped has it at 3.94. That is their B plus, A minus range right there. Pretty damn close. So uh, I'm going to say it's their A minus, and that's basically where I'm putting it. And uh, that's where everybody's putting it, right about the A minus range. So very tasty beer, very well-made beer, uh, nice transitional beer. So if you've had this one from uh, Modern Times, this is their Black House. Oatmeal Stout, let me know what you think, guys. And until we meet again, uh, come on back. Uh, let's go see what's in the fridge. I'll see you then.